Former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani just landed in Atlanta to turn himself in in connection to the case against Donald Trump and more than a dozen co-conspirators to overturn that state's election results. CBS 2's Jessica Moore is live in the newsroom with the latest. Cindy Giuliani's legal team met with Fulton County prosecutors this morning to secure his bond agreement. We caught up with the former New York City mayor on his way to the airport this morning, and he did not hold back. On every occasion, I'm telling the truth, and they're lying. Outside his New York apartment, a defiant Rudy Giuliani says he is confident he'll be acquitted of the charges against him in Georgia. I'm going uh, to Georgia, and I'm feeling very, very good about it because I feel like I'm defending the rights of all Americans. I'm the same Rudy Giuliani that took down the mafia, that made New York City the safest city in America, reduced crime more than any mayor in the history of any city anywhere. And I'm fighting for justice. I have been from the first moment. I represented Donald Trump. Giuliani is charged with 13 counts, including racketeering, and is one of 19 people, including former President Trump, who are accused of plotting to overturn Georgia's presidential election in 2020. I'm going to Fulton County to comply with the law, which I always do. I'll, uh, I don't know if I plead today, but if I do, I plead not guilty. And I get photographed. Isn't that nice? They a mugshot for the man who probably put the worst criminals of the 20th century in jail. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis said the defendants participated in a wide-ranging conspiracy to subvert the will of Georgia voters after President Biden won that state. So far, six accused co-conspirators have surrendered, including former Trump campaign lawyer Ray Smith, Kenneth Cheeseboro, Georgia Republican Party Chairman David Schaefer, alleged fake elector Kathy Latham, Georgia bail bondsman Scott Hall, and Trump attorney John Eastman. I am confident that when the law is faithfully applied in this proceeding, all of my co-defendants and I will be fully vindicated. Two co-conspirators in this case are trying to avoid arrest altogether, including former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows and former DOJ official Jeffrey Clark. Both men want their cases moved to federal court. A judge in Georgia has two days to make a decision. Live in the newsroom, Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. Jessica, thank you.